Good morning, lovelies. Today I wanted to talk about some new makeup and beauty products that I got here recently. And I just wanted to see if anyone else had heard of them or if they have like any opinions about them or anything. And the first one, I was at um, Kohl's the other day. And I was going through the makeup aisle, you know, looking at everything. And I found this brand that I've never heard of before. It's called The Balm. And this is like a little travel size palette. They have called um, Smoke Balm. And they had two different ones with this. This one has a black, a neutral, and a light color. And they're called Blaze spark and flame and the other palette had a very dark green and very similar colors to these but it's mainly this and that was a different color it was more of a green and this one was black and I didn't know if anyone else had heard about this brand before or if it's new or if it's been out for a while but and this is for a smoky eye look and I've used it twice now I think maybe three times no I think it was three times and the first time the first two times I did it the way they show you to but it was like it's really dark and um, I kind of tend to get carried away with black eyeshadow so the second time I did it a little bit different instead of putting the black one all over my eyelid like it tells you I put um this taupe color all over and then you know this goes in the corner of your eyes and to highlight your brow bone and I use this in the crease of my eye instead of putting that in the crease so I just switched these two and I feel like that looked a lot better like it's it was more of a natural smoky eye look and if you do it the way they tell you to on the package, it's like a really dramatic, smoky eye look. And the first time I did it, I had a little bit of the black fallout under my eyes. And I had a Q-tip, and I like was being very, very careful about this. And I just barely tried to swipe it off, and it just like smudged. Like, I don't know if my foundation just like sucked up the color or something, but it just smudged and I tried to wipe it off and it, I just had black like all under both my eyes and I tried to cover it up with more foundation and I just made it look worse. So I had to like wipe off all under here, wipe off all that makeup and just like reapply it. It was bad. You can ask my sister. It looked horrible. Anyway, they, oh, and also on my Kohl's trip, I got some little travel size candies, fragrances. I got strawberries and cream and cotton candy, two of my favorite scents, because I'm a 16-year-old girl like that, obviously, apparently, so not really. I just like those scents. They're very, I think they're very fun and summery, so... And they're on sale for like two or three bucks, marked down from twelve. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Moving on. Um, I just the other day I ordered the Smart Lash Eyelash Enhancer, and this is from um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going out. I got this from Dermstore.com, and it's like a site, and they've got like three different like brands that they sell on there and they're like pretty expensive stuff but this was on sale marked down from like $30 to $14.99 with free shipping and you got a free gift and my eyelashes aren't exactly the fullest and nicest eyelashes out there so I thought I'd give this a try and oh, you're supposed to shake it shake it up and it's just this little brush you know, you just apply it at the base of your lashes 
on the top and bottom and you can do it in the morning when you wake up and at night before you go to bed and I just got it in the mail yesterday so I've only used it twice but it's supposed to give you like really dramatic results let me grab the box real fast all right it says smart lash is the newest evolution in lash and brow enhancement effective formula featuring featuring vital lash technology will help you achieve the appearance of longer thicker fuller lashes and brows so you can use this on your eyebrows too which is great for me because you can barely see mine hopefully it'll make them a little darker anyway um, maybe it's in the instructions, that's what it said. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it says, in our clinical test, 100% saw an increase in the appearance of, I can't talk today, I'm sorry, appearance of eyelash length, fullness, and thickness after 30 days. 100% indicated a superior performance of this product when compared to previous used eyelash enhancement products. 100% feel they look younger and more confident. 100% said they feel like they need less mascara. 100% of subjects would recommend this to a friend. And it says participants experience up to an 80, 68% increase in appearance of lash length. So I guess after 30 days where I'm supposed to really start seeing results. I mean, like I said, I've only used this twice, so I'm not going to see anything right away. But <clears throat> clinically tested, sensitivity tested, paraben free, uh, helps strengthen lashes against breakage, proprietary peptide blend, Prostaglandin free. Never heard of that. And it says only to apply enough Smart Lash to moisten the lid and brows to keep product from running or dripping into the eyes. I guess that's gonna sting. And it says <laughs> there may be a slight tingling sensation associated with use, which I haven't experienced yet, which I think is a good thing. I mean, they don't say it's straight up burn, so I seem, assume tingling is like when you get like a little bit plumper, how that kind of tingles. Maybe that's what they mean. But yeah, this is my Smart Lash. And then a couple months ago, I bought the um, Smart Brow Kit. And that's this. It comes with the color and it has... And this is, I think I took the sticker off. This is like their light blonde color. And it, this thing has always been impossible to open. And it comes with a spoolie brush end. And a little brush end. And you're supposed to just like, I guess it's more like painting your eyebrows on. You just brush that on and then you use the brush and you comb it through and it looks more natural. And I, I use this on and off. Like when I first got it, I used it like all the time. And now I'm back to my eye pencil because that does take a little bit more time to put on because you have to like get even layers and you're supposed to apply it in like short, quick strokes. But like this, it was when I watched the video, it was women who already had pretty full eyebrows, but they just had little patches that needed filled in and stuff. And of course, like, mine are so blonde and barely there that I, like, I, paint, I have to paint them on when I use it. It's like drawing them on when I use my pencil. Like, I have to, like, start from nothing. So that does take a little longer than my eyebrow pencil, but it does look nice. And it came with the eyebrow cleanser because apparently this is the only thing that can get it off. Which I guess that's true when you apply it 
to bare skin, but I was putting it on over my foundation, and the directions suggested not to do that because when I did when I put it over my foundation, it I could just like wipe it off pretty easily. I mean, it didn't just like come straight off. I had to like scrub a little bit, but it came off pretty easy. So I didn't use much of the um, brow cleanser. It's almost completely full still. But that was that. And I, I don't know if anyone else has heard of this dermstore.com place. Like I, I had never heard of it before. And then it popped up on my Facebook feed talking about the smart brow stuff and how to enhance your eyebrows and blah, blah, blah. And at first I thought it was like some kind of serum you put on there and it helped them like grow thicker and fuller but like my smart lash stuff is supposed to do but it, that's just like to fill them in and stuff and it was uh, the smart brow was twenty six dollars I believe for the kit and I've got a fair amount of use out of it I'm not done with it yet I'll, I'm still gonna use it every now and then but for now, I'm just back into my eyebrow pencil. I don't know about anyone else, but I go through phases of my makeup. Like, for the longest time, I wore, like, smoky eyes every day, everywhere, no matter what was going on. It was just, I was obsessed with it. And, okay, the free gift that I got with my Smart Lash is Derm Store lip quench moisture infused lip treatment and I don't know this smells kind of odd like it smells fruity but at the same time it smells I don't know how to describe that like I don't know it's like a weird fruity scent like I like it but I don't like it and I'm not really sure about it yet and I have used this like two or three times already and it's like this really pretty light pink kind of pearlescent sort of color and like when you put it on it doesn't give you a lot of color it's kind of sheer which I think is really cute and like like I said I've only used this a couple times and my lips are so like soft and moisturized right now which I love because here lately I've been having such a hard time with chapped lips like I've used EOS, Baby Lips, um, Ballistex, like I have Carmex, I have so many different chapsticks and lip moisturizers in my purse and like none of them seem to be working like, and they're ones that I've used in the past and that have worked really well for me, so I don't know what is up with my lips now. But this seems to be working really, really good. I love this. It's awesome. And I think it, like, makes my lips look a little bit fuller, too. That's my phone. And then I also got two free samples with my order. This is Kelly Van Gogh Conditioner. Um... And it is enriched with caviar proteins. It helps prolong, protect, and polish your color. So this is for like color treated hair. And I haven't dyed my hair um, in a good few months. No, I haven't dyed it or anything since I've started letting it grow back out. Because I, I want to wait till it's long and then I'm going to dyed it when it gets there so this will probably not be used for a little bit and then I also got this this was I've already used this I used it last night Dermalogica and it's overnight clearing gel and it's supposed to help treat and prevent breakout which I think is amazing. I love any kind of beauty product that helps with my blemishes and skin imperfections. 
because obviously my skin is not perfect. And you just apply a thin layer of it at night before you go to bed. And I put it on last night and like my skin feels really soft and smooth and it looks a lot better. Like last night, these were all red and irritated and you know. But of course I had to just wash my face. But like, I don't know, I feel like it really did a good job and like I put it on my neck too because I have some right here that I like to pop up every now and then. And I think that's all my new stuff at the moment. Um, I wish my Ipsy bag would hurry up and get here because I'm getting some really cool stuff in it this month. And I'll have to do a video on that for you guys next time. But yeah, let me know if anyone out there has heard of the Derm Store or has used any of their products and what you think. And just comment, let me know. Let me know what you think, I guess. And that's it for today. I'm going to get ready because we're going to get all you can eat sushi tonight and I don't know how this experience is going to go like it's twenty dollars a person which isn't I don't know if that's bad or if that's a really good price for like all you can eat sushi I've never been to an all you can eat sushi place before so apparently it's really good sushi though which I hope because I don't want to get sick. So, wish me luck with that endeavor. Like, subscribe, comment, questions, whole nine yards. I will see you guys next time. And um, I know I posted on Instagram that I was going to be doing a shoe video soon and my sister is supposed to help me with that and we just have not been able to schedule a time to get that done yet. But hopefully we get that done before the month is over because I really, really, really want to do this video because I have um, a couple pairs of new shoes that I would love to show you guys. And if we can't get it scheduled, I may just end up having to do it myself. But I really... Um, she was really excited about helping me with a video. So, anyway, like, subscribe, comments, questions, you know the deal. I will see you guys next time, and have a great day.